Hi, my name's Jake Shepherd. I'm here at the fantastic Yas Links Golf Club today to do one of my Golf Digest Middle East Scoring Secrets videos. Today I'd like to talk to you about something which I think is a really confused subject amongst amateur golfers and some professional golfers alike. It's the backswing length. I hear a lot of amateurs say that their backswing felt too long and got loose or they felt short and snatchy in their backswing. And I think there's one way to really make sense of it all and to really feel the correct length for you, specifically for you and your backswing. And that is, very simply, when you're making your backswing, I think when your body stops turning, and wherever that may be for you, depending on your flexibility levels, I want your arms to stop as well. I don't want continuation of the arms into the backswing. So, as I say, just turn your body. When that stops and pinches, stop your arm swing. Now, the reason for this isn't just to control your long shots. It'll also be for your knockdown swings as well. So when you're in between yardages or in between clubs, you sometimes have to take five yards off to bridge the gap. So it's the same principle. I would very simply just slightly shorten my shoulder turn and make sure my arm swing stops at the same time. No continuation, that just creates difficult timing for yourself and makes you rely more on the timing. So let me show you one of the knockdown shots. I'm just gonna take maybe 10 degrees off my shoulder turn and keep my arm swing very married into my chest. Let me just show you how I would do that. I'm in between clubs here, so I'll just show you this swing. Okay, so for me, I've done nothing different in that golf swing to bridge the gap. I've very simply shortened my chest swing and kept my arm swing very relevant to that and not let it continue. I hope this helps your game on the course and helps you bridge the gap between those awkward iron shots.